Broadcasting, Broadcasting across America and around the world. <laughs> Live from our studios in Sumter, South Carolina. You're listening to PowerAndPraiseRadio.com. Tell the story about a woman with an issue Had it twelve long years Didn't know what to do She heard about a man Coming through her time She fell to her knees And crawled on the ground She said, no, she said, if I could only touch the thing give up his garden, I'm going to give it all I have. Come on, help me sing. is no ordinary worship this is no ordinary worship blessings to you destiny listeners welcome to another week of destiny talk with your host lady cook i have in the studio with me today i have lady howard hello everybody and I also have a worshiper in this place with me today. Lady Sylvia, say hello to the people. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm telling you, if you have not had a moment just to pause and say thank you, come on, why don't you just do it right where you thank are? You God. Give God some praise yes. for this is the day. We are alive and on this side mm-hmm. of heaven to tell God thank Thank you for watching over us, for looking over us one more day, giving us one more day to give praise to you. I don't know about you, but if Mm -hmm. all you have to do is just look around and you'll Mm -hmm. be able to see warfare all around us. There's warfare all around Mm -hmm. us. There's a lot of things um, going on. And um, here in the state of South Carolina, Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of you, um, it's been all over the national news. And so everybody had been preparing for Florence. Um, And so we certainly send out our prayers to um, all those who have been affected by the hurricane in our neighboring state of North Carolina um, and all those um, Uh, who have had a few trying days, but I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the power of prayer. And so we must stay prayed up. Mm -hmm. That's the significance of everything that's going on. Um, How is your worship? Mm -hmm. How is your worship? So today's topic, we're going to be talking about worship and warfare. Mm -hmm. And we will discuss Uh, we will discuss what spiritual warfare is. We're going to also talk about the heavens and Satan. Um, You know, the Apostle Paul referenced the devil as the prince of the power of the air. But somebody say, our God is greater. Our God is Our God is stronger. Our God is wiser. Mm -hmm. He is bigger. Our God rules and reigns. And we'll talk about worship is war. Worship the equipping station. Um, Mm. 
because that's something that we need to um to know that you know of course we all know that we war against Mm -hmm. um satan Mm -hmm. and um not because of necessarily because of who we are what status we may have but it's because of what he wants from us Mm -hmm. is what he wants from us and he wants our worship he wants our worship and so um with that being said we'll go right into defining spiritual warfare and we got to know that um spiritual warfare is real Mm. Um, it's the reality of every Christian. It's the reality of every um, believer um, specifically um, because, again, Satan is after your worship. Mm. That's the reason where, why he's where he's at right now um, because he's after your, after your worship. If we look at Ephesians 6 and 12, this is our scripture of focus for today. Um, it says, for our battle is not against flesh and blood. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the world powers of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavens. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to um, define it, um, spiritual warfare, based on Priscilla Shira's, um, in her book, Putting on the Armor of God. She defined um, warfare as this. She says, everything that occurs in the visible physical world is directly connected to the wrestling match being waged in the invisible spiritual world. The effects of the war going on in the unseen world reveal themselves in our strained and damaged relationships, emotional instability, mental fatigue. Anybody ever been tired? Mm -hmm. Physical exhaustion and many Mm -hmm. other areas of life Many of us feel pinned down by anger, unforgiveness, yes. pride, yes. comparisons, insecurity, uh. discord, fear, and the list can go mm. on and on. But the overarching primary nemesis behind all these outcomes is the devil himself. Mm. Somebody say, I see you. Yeah, <laughs> I can you. recognize you. Yes. I know your game. And, you know, uh-huh. seriously, though, that's what he does. He throws things at us. And we, I was just talking with um, the ladies coming down, and we were talking about um, Satan and what, you know, what he does and how he, you know, uses the same tricks and uses all these things that we can, um, uh-huh. that I've just, you know, spelled out. But what is your response to it? And we was talking about our first response. So I want Lady um, Howard or Lady Sylvia, one of you chime in and share with the audience what we talked about in in Mm. regards to being ready for when Satan actually launches something Mm. um, at you. I know you was just sharing with us that you just, you know, had an experience Mm -hmm, just mm recent, just mm -hmm. this week. You know, anytime we want to put out that we want to talk about Mm -hmm. spiritual warfare, you know, you want to go up against the game, then you got to know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be prepared and you got to know. And so um, I did. I brought the worshipers in the in the room <laughs> with me on, on tonight. Yes. So talk to them, ladies, about yes. your first response or being in the position to be able to steady yourself for the warfare when you know it's coming against you. Mm. I think in the first position, a lot of us think we're saved. We got a relationship with God. Mm-hmm. That I'm good. Mm. I'm prayed Mm. up. I'm good. The attack is not coming. Mm -hmm. Mm. But what you need to know is the warfare. You're a soldier for the Lord. Come on. And that just means he going to come for you first. And he going to come for you harder than anybody else. That is not, is not a soldier for the Lord. Soldiers are at rest in the army. They're they're at rest. They have their jobs. But at times they got to put on mm-hmm. their flat vest and their Kevlar mm-hmm. and they got to get ready for war mm-hmm. because they're soldiers for the army. We're soldiers for the Lord. So sometimes you got to put on your armor mm-hmm. and you got to be ready for mm-hmm. what Satan has. He's going to come for you yeah. just like they coming for those soldiers. Mm-hmm. So you got to be ready for battle at all times. At all mm-hmm. Stay times. prayed up. Yes. And, uh, and yes, it is coming. It might not be your day to day. You might be resting like that soldier over at the hospital. He might be resting today. But tomorrow, he got called up yesterday. Mm. He got called up by Hurricane Flo. Mm. He was ready. You got to be ready. 
Because hmm. saints, when Satan comes for you, he's coming to kill, steal, and destroy in our wow. lives. And we got to be ready. And we got to know and recognize that everything, people smiling in your face, hee hee ha ha, it ain't good. They're working for the mm, devil. You better say that. You got to mm, see it for what it yes, is. Yes, and if you stay in your word and you stay prayed up, you'll see some things. Yes, A lot of yes. times we don't know that battle is, <laughs> hey, it ain't for us to fight sometimes. Right. But I'm a soldier for the Lord, and I know I've been through, and mm. I know that we got to be ready. Because okay. when Satan comes, it, mm. it's not always easy, and we yes. don't always recognize. We that's my friend. That's my mm. husband. We say good. that. Say we that. good. But the enemy, he he knows where to hurt no you. Matter bad. who you are, no matter right. who mm-hmm. you are, right? That's right. He's right. coming. That's true. Yeah. That's good. And you Don't got matter. to be ready. Got to be ready. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. Good. That's real talk. That's real talk. And exactly what my sister was just talking about is what we were talking about. On the way here, we always have a great worship of conversation on the way here yes, before y'all. God even have us come <laughs> before his people. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I am a worshiper, so I get dealt with when I'm going through a spiritual warfare and it's a trying to attack my worship. But because I know who and whom I am, now I'm not going to pretend like I don't get knocked down because I got knocked down hmm. for a minute at the beginning of this week. But as you hear me say, for a minute. Come on. And I got knocked down but I had to realize and get back up and Mm -hmm. realize where my help and strength come from and exactly what you're talking about Lady Howard when you're talking about the very people that God will use whether it's family, friends, it doesn't matter who he used, the very ones that did you blind it for a minute you're so comfortable with you're comfortable with them and all of a sudden bam you are attacked and you're trying to figure out where did that come from okay God you have to show me something but I realized even in all that time little by little he had been showing me Mm -hmm. little signs little Mm -hmm. signs little signs and because I'm like I'm good like you said I'm good no they wouldn't do that no they wouldn't say that no really and then it hit me Mm -hmm. and it knocked me down because the very ones that I would be be unexpected about mm-hmm. it did something to me but i promise you i didn't stay there long mm-hmm. because he began to show me some things and because one thing i realized in spiritual warfare for sylvia is when god getting ready to take me to another level and i know he's taking me there yes. there is a tax that come my way mm-hmm. so i have to brace up and put on the armor of god and come get on. ready because i know i'm going into spiritual warfare right. so what i do i sing uh-huh. and i worship and i dance <laughs> <laughs> and right before that storm hit me and knocked me completely down, if we can be transparent, mm-hmm. I was in my kitchen and I was singing and I was dancing. I was praising God. I woke up the whole house just singing and praising. Even the dog was barking. But I said, God, I thank you. And my husband thought I was crazy. And he came in the kitchen. My Lord, you waking up the house. But I tell you, he was getting me ready mm-hmm. for what I was about to come in contact with. Yes. Right, but I wasn't looking at it like that at the time. I'm like, no, I'm just praising God. This song is good, and I began to think about the goodness of the Lord and how good He is to me, and how awesome He is, and looking mm-hmm. at what's going on around me and thinking I'm not affected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then here it is. So that's spiritual warfare right there. So you got to go in strong. Yeah, you got right. to go in strong because. Our worship is necessary. Yes. It's so necessary. It's, necessary. Yes. it's a powerful weapon for us. It, it, it's so necessary and it's so key. And I mm-hmm. like, you know, I, and you know, we always talk. And what I love mm-hmm. about Lady Sylvia is, you know, and, and Lady Howard as well, because when we can talk, we can be real, mm-hmm. but we can also see the relationship of God and what yes. is going on yes. and mm-hmm. how they're responding mm-hmm. to that relationship mm-hmm. in their life. And so your worship, when we talk yes. about girding up and, you know, putting on the mm-hmm. armor of mm-hmm. God, mm-hmm. but your worship also can equate to your relationship. Yes. with God. Yes. So like you say, ladies, if you had you not mm. been in worship with God, had you not been yes. communing mm-hmm. with God, your mm-hmm. response and your, de- oh, you know, yes. you had a delay because we're, we we're human, yes. you know, and so in the flesh, you know, we will experience mm-hmm. setbacks or we will mm-hmm. get knocked down. Mm-hmm. But the thing that you have that you can pull, that you mm-hmm. can rely on, that you know will strengthen you is your relationship yes. with God. Yes. And so when once mm-hmm. you just get a tug, 
hug. Mm-hmm. If you just like you, you know, if you just grab your scripture, if you mm-hmm. grab your song, if it could just be a yes. little melody, you got to make that mm-hmm. joyful noise. You've got to call out to yes. God. Yes. yes. Like you say, you got to, you know, you got to prepare mm-hmm. yourself. You know, it's good to have a battle buddy. Yes, it if is. that's what you call them when you mm-hmm. get ready to go into war, that's, that's fine. Yes. But you better know God for yourself. Yes. Because, it, it, yeah, they you got, you got to, you got to know God yes. for yourself. For yourself. Yes. And so that's what we won't talk about today. Yes. We want you all to just, you know, go ahead and, you know, get your pen and your notebook mm. and get yourself ready as we get ready to teach on worship yes. on tonight. As we get ready to go in, I feel God, God moving in the mm-hmm. studio. I am excited. Yes. I know we're getting some hits <laughs> saying, why y'all not live? We didn't get to see y'all on Facebook live, but we want y'all to go to Power and Praise Radio dot com and go ahead and log on and join mm-hmm. us in for the conversation we'll be right back with you after the break yes he came up against your heart the enemy came up against your shield the enemy came up against your Came up against your towers, but you will win. You will win. The enemy came up against your head. The enemy came up against your fire. Your vision. The enemy came up against your peace.
come on, come on. I want to tell the saints in the studio to give God a shout of praise. Yes, oh thank my you, God. God. Oh thank my God. Lord. Sometimes you just have to remind yourself. You have to make that declaration. Yes, yes. And I love it when she says that everything thank attached you. to me wins. Yes. Mm. Look, at, I don't know about y'all, but I was watching the news and following the news. But you know what? When I got to praying in my house. Yes. When I got to praying in the house and saying, oh, Lord, we need you now. Uh-huh. Come on now. We, there's a storm out on the ocean, <laughs> and it's moving this old way. If your yes, soul's not anchored yes, in Jesus, yes, you yes, will surely you drift away. Yes. Y'all better get anchored <laughs> oh, in the oh, word of God. Don't y'all start so with me. They call ceilings. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, we're talking about worship and warfare on tonight. Yes. And we're excited because we know our God. We yes, know God. that he is the risen Savior. And so um, we want to continue on and talk about the things of truth mm. that we must face. We live, the, the, the reality of, of what we deal with, we know two, two truths, that we are, every day we're in a battle. Mm-hmm. But God did not leave us without mm-hmm. us being prepared mm. for what things are to come up against us. And mm. so he has given us weapons. Worship and praise are our powerful weapons. And listen, and I know it, this is something that we really need to make clear. And I say, you know, even as a worshiper myself and um, as working in the music ministry, we like to, um, you know, to teach. And we like to tell those who, um, you know, come into the choir and, you know, when they make reference to when we're singing or the lyrics or, you know, they go by the, the pace, uh, you know, of the song. Um, songs does not songs are not identified by praise and um and, and worship like the fast songs they try to say you know if it's up tempo that's that you know that's your praise or if it's a, a slower song you know with a slower pace that you can you know you can worship but somebody could be singing what a mighty god we serve and look here i would be in my own world i don't know what tempo you might be on but however god is dealing with me with that particular song that's still my worship so we've got to understand that praise and worship is not about the 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 songs and the tempo is what i was trying to say uh-huh. the tempo of the song uh-huh. um yes you know listen to the lyrics uh-huh. of the song but let that be the meditation or the medicine that you need for uh-huh. your heart and the spirit will lead you into your worship uh-huh. yes. OK, so it, the worship, it, you know, it's relational. Your worship, you know, it, it, that's why we say it becomes your lifestyle. Yes. It, it, it becomes your lifestyle. It's like your reaction. It's certain songs and, you know, mm-hmm. certain places that I go yes. and my family, they know me. Mm-hmm. They know me well. And, you know, my kids, Imani and Elijah, I know y'all listening, but, um, you know, my, you know, my kids, they, they will, they be like, you know what? We might need to change the radio station on, the, on that channel before we get ready to go somewhere, do something. Because I'd be like, hold it. Let's mm-hmm. stop. Let's pause. Mm-hmm. Because there are some songs that I can't, yes. you know what I'm saying? I, you know, it's, it's, I can't just stop, just turn it off like that mm-hmm. because of the relationship that I have with God is, is who I am. Yes. Worship becomes a mm-hmm. part of you. It's, it's who you are. It's who God created. That's why he created us. And so mm-hmm. when you make that connection and you automatically know your purpose mm-hmm. and you know why you are here, it's just like, you know, it could just, it could be an instrumental song. I'll immediately go there. Because, you know, it, 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 it triggers me. It triggers that re, re, respond. And I automatically go into a supernatural connection mm. with God. Mm. So when we worship, we come into a supernatural connection with God. Yes. God calls us to go higher and deeper into worship. Mm-hmm. Mm. The trials of life, I know they will, con- you know, they will, con- you know, consume us. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of things are screaming for our attention. But um, we've got to learn to focus our life in a higher realm of holiness. And we'll talk about those realms in just a few moments. But we've got to learn, um, you know, that when all of this stuff is pulling at us, when all of those things are, you know, you know, things come upon us, we've got to know that even if the situation seems bigger Mm -hmm. and we know how they was magnifying um, the the storm that was out on the ocean, Mm -hmm. you know, it seemed bigger. You know, it was big. And every day it would get bigger. It seemed like the closer it got, it was getting bigger. And they had people from, five, you know, the whole eastern side of the United States preparing for that. That's fine. 
we're supposed to prepare but guess what god is bigger and so did we not have that proven those Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying in the midst of calamities yes we are to pray and praise but i'm gonna tell you there were some people bombarding heaven Mm -hmm. on behalf Mm -hmm. of the storm that was out there and i believe you know i believe god you know i believe he heard you know he heard a word from us yes he did he, he yes, heard a word from us. That. And so we have, that's, you know, that's what we have to do. We have to see God as, um, we have to see God as bigger. Yes. Yes, definitely. yes, yes. Mm. And I think a lot of us heard, were able to hear if we were still. If mm. you were watching the news, a lot of people were anxious, mm-hmm. anxiety, fear, all of it took over. But in the midst, all I could hear was be still. Not God. Because God's trying to get a message to us, but we're too busy. Hmm. We're too busy. So the storm made some of us be still. Oh, yes, it did. (laughs) You know, Mm -hmm. Grandma used to say when a storm come out, what'd she say? Get somewhere and sit down. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) I think the Lord was telling some of us, get somewhere and sit down. Mm -hmm. Mm You too busy. Mm-hmm. I can't talk to you. Mm-hmm. My God, I can't show you mm-hmm. because you too busy. Mm-hmm. In the midst of the storm, where's your worship? Mm-hmm. Where's your praise, girl? I had to turn the TV off at one time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said I can't watch no more. Mm-hmm. It's too much. Mm-hmm. Right. But God wanted me to worship, so I turned the TV mm-hmm. off. And guess what happened? I turned the music on, mm-hmm. and we all started cooking. See, <laughs> Mama was home, so she, Mama really was doing the most of the <laughs> Yeah, I know my grandkids listening. Hey, but we ate all the, all the food. Yeah. Yes, but we had to be still in the mm. midst of the storm, Sylvia. Yeah. I said he he was mm-hmm. trying to talk to some of us, mm-hmm. and um, unfortunately, mm-hmm. to get some of our attention, mm-hmm. it takes a hurricane flow. Mm-hmm. It, it mm-hmm. takes a hurricane flow to get us to sit still mm-hmm. and hear and, and be his people. Come together mm-hmm. and yes. pray. We saw people praying Coming together on national TV in the state wow. house office, mm-hmm. on somebody's lawn, mm-hmm. firemen mm-hmm. to pray. Mm-hmm. All the chaos that was going on and still yes. going on in the world before hurricane flow. Mm-hmm. He made us be still and said, let me show you. Mm-hmm. When you don't abide and pray together and mm-hmm. do God's My word Lord. and worship, mm-hmm. you That's can be word. in chaos. Yes. And, and, and storms can take you away. Small things, big things. But I, I really think he, some of us, um, we, he sat us down and made us mm-hmm. still oh, so that. he could hear. Yes, him. Lord. Yeah. hmm Definitely. Mm-hmm. Talking about, I read a quote. Um, I, I guess I may have gotten it from off of um, Facebook, um, but I don't have a um, the author uh, who who stated the quote. Um, but it's but the quote said, "When we worship, we are surrounded by God's presence." Mm. So just like you were saying, Lady Howard, no matter what's going on around us, sometimes you just got to steal away and get yeah. into the presence of God. How do we invoke so. the presence of God mm. through our worship? worship. Mm. We are abiding in his presence. That's our call to mm. God. Mm. That's our call to him. And no matter what, we've got to know that God will equip us for the war, for what's before us, for the storm, for whatever setback, for Mm. whatever it is that you're going through. Your storm could be a divorce. You you know, your storm could be financial, um, you know, uh, bondage right now. Or, you know, it could be whatever it is that you are facing. And it seems like it has you consumed and bigger. I just challenge you to call out to God. Mm. Try something different. If you keep getting the same result, try something different. Have you tried God? My Lord. Yes. (laughs) Have you tried God? Mm. And then the encouragement of that is once you, when when you try him, Mm -hmm. (laughs) when you, when, when you try him, when you Mm. get, when, oh my gosh, we can go into another whole (laughs) segment (laughs) About, you know, about that, because the only way you will get that fulfillment, the only way you will get that joy, yes. the only way you will experience that mm-hmm. it's, it's a spiritual, like I said, it's a supernatural encounter. You won't encounter anything else like the glory of God. 
Oh my, my God. Lord. And so when we get on the glory of the God, glory somebody of say God. revival is coming soon. Yes. So if revival you're in the Columbia coming area, coming. if you're in Columbia, coming I tell you on October the 9th, we are talking about revival. We want the glory of God mm-hmm. to be released like never before. My How do Lord. we get into the presence of God? How do we ask mm-hmm. for the glory of God? How do we walk under the covering of yes. the glory cloud? Yes. Our mm-hmm. worship. Yes. Worship draws you mm. into the presence of God. My Lord. When we release a sound of worship, the earth must respond. That's just how powerful it is. When we release a sound of worship, the earth must respond. There is power in lifting up your voice in acclamation to the one and only true and living God. He is a living God. We can speak. Mm-hmm. We can sing. We can shout. Yes. We can do all kinds of, mm-hmm. of expressions of worship. We can clap. You can play your instruments. It's all about the sound. Mm-hmm. When you release the sound <laughs> of worship, of you can mouth. throw your hands yes. in the air. You can stand up. You can bow. Yes. You can dance. You can there lay. is no limit <laughs> to your worship. Yes, no limit. We have access to heavenly places, yes. y'all, yes, through the praise mm. and the prayers mm-hmm. and the worship was released out of your mouth. I just challenge yes. you to try something different. Try my God. Yes, Amen. God. Try my God mm-hmm. and see mm-hmm. won't he work it out for you. Mm. Oh, I'm just so excited Lord, about it. That's Lord. what worship is. That's the heart of a worshiper. That's the what God has e- yeah, mm-hmm. that's what God has equipped mm-hmm. us to do. All we got to do is press. All we oh got to do is press. Press. We got to press into the presence mm. of an almighty God. Mm. God will meet you right where, right where you, you are. are. And you, then God. he's just as oh my God, it's like it, it's nothing is sweet. I mean, sweeter than the Holy Spirit when he Mm. meets you there. He's not just going to meet you there and be there. We'll be in awe of Mm. his presence, of the holiness, of the glory of God. But then he's also going to take you as his beloved Mm -hmm. child, as his son, as his daughter. Mm -hmm. He's going to take you and he's going to bring you Mm -hmm. into a place of deliverance. Yes, yes. It's like that's when the songwriter, Mm -hmm. when they say that the the presence of God, the Mm. God himself, he has captured Mm -hmm. your heart. Mm. Oh, my God. When God yes. captures your heart, there is nothing mm. like it. There is there's no other um, man on earth. There is nothing, my nothing Lord. compares nothing. to the love of God. And it's such hmm. a it's such a peace. Yes, it is. Oh, when you yeah. get that peace mm-hmm. after the storm, after when the you storm. get that peace, yes. there's nothing like it. There's, there's no, nothing mm-hmm. like being in the presence of God. So mm-hmm. I encourage you as we go into our next song, as as I encourage you to just press, press mm-hmm. a little mm-hmm. further, press. press a little harder, yes, yes. press into the presence mm-hmm. of God. Mm-hmm. Anybody want to press a little further? Anybody want to press a little further? Somebody lift your voice into the Lord. Tell them, God, I want to press a little further. Press in your presence, Jesus. Come on, we might to get out of your way, but we want to press a little further. Amen. If I can just press, press in your presence, behold the beauty of your face. If I can just pray. Again. If I can just press, press in your presence and leave all my cares behind me, I will be whole, I'll still believe, I will just lay, lay at your feet, for I will be whole, I'll still believe, I will just praise, praise out of your feet right here. Come on and tell the Lord. 
Play of Destiny Talk can be found on Spreaker.com. Destiny Talk with Lady Cook. Look for the Spreaker.com. Look for Destiny Talk with Lady Cook and mark us as your favorite on the icon. The reschedule of the Destiny Talk Women's Empowerment Forum will be held September the 25th at the Crossings Community Church at 6.30 p.m. in Columbia, South Carolina. It is family revival time. Family revival coming in October, scheduled for October the 9th at 6.30 p.m. Release the glory. The Mental Health Awareness Forum will be held on Tuesday, November the 13th at Crossings Community Church, 2831 Clemson Road, 
Tickets are available on eventbrite.com or you can go to the Lady Cook Ministries Facebook page. The um, tickets are free of charge. We just ask that you RSVP so that we can have your folder and your information for you. Contact Lady Cook for bookings at the Lady Cook Ministries website at www.ladycookministries.org. You can also sow a love seed into this ministry. Help Lady Cook reach a thousand followers on her social media pages. We are so very close. We ask that you look us up on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Lady Cook Ministries, The Glow Ministry. Catch the glow and shine into your destiny. We are so excited about all the Mm -hmm. events and all the um, open doors that God is doing for us. Um, At this time in this season, uh, we are just thankful to God for the open doors, for the platforms that are coming um, before us, because our goal is to tear down the borders, Mm. um, to reach um, to reach those um, with the knowledge and the love of Jesus Christ. And so um, we're excited about what God is doing. We're so excited. I tell you, the teams are growing in the state of Georgia and Florida. Um, We're so thankful to have support teams there. I believe is um november 16th we will be um back in florida to do a glow um event and we are excited about it i'm excited about what god is doing and i'm still expecting great things yeah i'm expecting for god to do great things all the things that was promised um to me this year um they will come to pass Mm -hmm. i speak it and i believe it in my heart so um, with that, we will get back to um, worship. Before we went to the song break, we was um, talking about how we can have access to um, heavenly places with our praise and with our worship. Mm-hmm. And um, what we have to recognize and what we need to know, as Ephesians 6 and 12 points out to us, that our struggle is against the spiritual forces um, of evil that's um, actually located in the second heaven. So the heavens and Satan, um, his location, we need to first understand the heavenlies. The first heaven is the earthly realm where we live. It's when Jesus, um, when Jesus died on the cross, he broke the power of Satan in this yes. earthly realm. I praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. Through his death and his resurrection, we can pray into the third heaven where God is seated. So we got to get some understanding here. But um, let me go to Romans 5, Romans 5, uh, verses 1 and 2. And it says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access. That's that word access Mm -hmm. again, where we have access by faith into into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. When we look at Ephesians 2 and 6, it Mm. says, And God raised us up with Christ Mm. and seated us with him in the heavenly realms. In heavenly realms, some translations say in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That's what we've got. We've got to understand and we've got to understand the position of the heavenlies and the attacks. And, um, you know, how we was talking about on the way down here, how we got to be in, um, you know, in defense mode against mm-hmm. the attacks that come up against us. So we have God in the third heaven. We have the throne. We have God there. And because he sent his son, um, you know, Satan is in the is in the second heaven. We want to make sure we um, get clear, you know, understand that, that you're understanding and following us with this um, with this visual here. A Satan is in the um, the second heaven, and we live here down on earth, okay, in the first heaven. So what God has done for us, he sent his son mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that we can have, and I just gave yes, you the word, so that we can yes, have uh-huh. access. And then he seated us in those heavenly places yes. that we could have direct access through our prayer, yes. through our worship. You know, in our, in our giving, we can send that straight to the throne of God. Yes. Straight mm-hmm. to the throne of God. That's just that. That's that access. That's that power mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. we have. That's the power of praise and worship. Being able to go now. Does Satan want you to be able to reach God? Does he want you to be in the throne room mm-hmm. and to reach the heavens? Of course not. Mm-hmm. That's why we said he's he's mm-hmm. really he's after your worship yes. because he doesn't he, he wants your worship. Yes, he does. You know he 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 wants your worship. Mm-hmm. So and, and a lot of times that's what we you know 
we find those things that come at us, they're coming from out of that realm, from the, the prince of the, the power of the air, from, from within the second mm-hmm. realm there, if you will. And so he'll throw down those things those darts at us he'll throw down um you know depression uh you know he'll he'll throw down anything that makes you feel in you know in inferior um you know he 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 plays mind games he plays tricks on you and he'll see if he can hit the target mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but listen if you praising and if you worship and if you mm-hmm. gird up with the weapons that god gave us to use yes. against those Yes. things that come at us mm-hmm. then you'll know how to combat the exactly. enemy and in your praise and your worship still we you, yes. you're still communing with still god communing. Yes. Mm-hmm. he gave us that open access yes. he gave us that authority so when fear and distractions mm-hmm. and jealousy and fornicators yes. Um, yes. you know manipulators um sin of every kind when all of that stuff come at us it usually attacks us from the middle Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can we just talk about the middle for yes. a minute? That's what we always seem like we get stuck. Where? In the middle. In the middle. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. why we, you know, we have to encourage one. Yeah, we have to encourage <laughs> one another. Like, yes. don't, you know, don't stop now. Keep you know, ke- you know, press. keep on going. Keep on pressing mm-hmm. into the presence of God. Yes. Don't get caught up in the middle. God mm. gave us what we need to combat all of that thing. He yes. gave it to us through his son, Jesus. Come on. And the shedding Mm. of his blood for the remission of our sins. Mm -hmm. So don't even let anybody try to pin anything on you, even if you had done some things while you were in the middle. Can we talk about that for a minute? Because sometimes even, you know, the the enemy, like you say, he like Mm -hmm. to use people. He like to use, um, you know, his little wimps and, Mm -hmm. you know, all of those things. That If he can get somebody on his side, then he'll he'll use you for a season. And then when he's tired (laughs) of using you up, then guess what? He's going to go to the next Mm -hmm. available vessel. He's going to go somewhere else where he could use them to allow them yes. to try to, um, you know, tem- intimidate you. That's Distract. the word that we want to say. Distract, mm-hmm. Int- you know, to intimidate you. Mm-hmm. That's but good. guess what? All you got to do is open up your mouth yes. and release a sound. You got to release uh-huh. the right words. We need to be focused on that yes. because it just take one word. One word. Can we be mouth. serious about that? It just takes one word. One Can word. we just call the name of Jesus? Yes. And that's what that song one says. <laughs> call the one name word. of Jesus. Mm-hmm. He is our savior. He is our deliverer. Yes. Call the name of Jesus. He will rescue you mm-hmm. because of the blood of Jesus. Y'all, do y'all realize mm. how powerful that is? What authority he has given us? Mm. He has huh. given us, I mean, you know, he has given us that power and authority to reach the throne room, to reach <laughs> the he- the heavens where he resides, mm. where he lives. Mm. Nobody but a God. Nobody. And we get so, you know, we get so sidetracked and we get caught mm-hmm. up with all of this stuff that yes. takes place in the middle. But mm-hmm. can I encourage somebody yes, on this God. evening? Thank keep you, going. Keep going. Keep pressing. Press. Keep it moving. Yes. Get in your worship. word. <laughs> Hollow out to God. Yes. yes. Worship. If you have to wallow Man. in it. You know, sometimes I say I will wallow in mm-hmm. worship. Mm-hmm. I will be right there. I won't let anything move mm-hmm. me from out of the presence mm-hmm. of God. And especially when you know that the enemy is yes. throwing those things at you. When mm-hmm. you know that you are being tempted. Stay right there. You stay right there. Don't let nothing move you for my, oh my God, that's a word for somebody. Yes. Might even be a word for Lady Cook. But don't yes. you get moved by what you stay see. right there. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you, you can't so be moved yes. by what you see. Your yes. worship will allow you to see what you can't mm-hmm. see. Isn't that right, Lady Sylvia? Yes. yes. The yes. worship. The yes. worship will allow you to see yes. what you normally can't see. What you normally can't see. Mm. Oh, my, my gosh. <laughs> you got to let your worship be your detour guide. <laughs> my God. Mm, when we, guide. Yeah, yeah. Like let that. the worship be your I detour like guide. Mm. Mm-hmm. Think about it for a moment. It's like I say, we get detour stuck guide. in the middle and all kind of things, let you know, may you. have, you know, yeah, let mm. it ride. Why mm. don't you, yeah, let it, let it drive mm-hmm. you. And sometimes, you know, you get to the place where you and God, y'all are so close like that. All you got to do is just ride. Yeah. 
Can I can I just say that? I'm like, God, I'm just coming along for the ride. <laughs> God, I want you to bless me so sometimes like they say, you don't be even looking for a blessing or whatever, but yes. sometimes your worship could just allow you to get a free God, pass. I thank you. God, I'm just here for the ride. What you gonna bless me with now? Because of your yeah, obedience, you cook. Him. Yeah, mm-hmm. because of your obedience, I'm going to open up this door for you. My God. Oh, God, you're going to bless me with that. Can you trust me with that? Yes, he yes, can he because can. you stayed the course. My because God. Because you made it from out the middle. When My everything God. was trying to pull you down and to keep, you know, to keep you there, you yes. made it. You pressed. Impressed. You kept on going, oh, my God, my yes, you're going to have some days. Oh, yes, yes. You're you know, have some days. human, you know, we're, mm-hmm. you know, we're human. And, then you know, mm-hmm. you think back and you reflect back and sometimes you, but you got to encourage yourself. Yes. Can I tell somebody God. that as well? <laughs> encourage yourself. It's important to mm. encourage yourself, but encourage yourself in the word of God. Yes. The word of God is a Thank mirror you, of who you are. My God. Can you see yourself <laughs> in the mirror? Can you see? Oh, we don't go on off script now. <laughs> We're going somewhere else, Mr. Nate. Oh, my God. <laughs> it my happens God, my every wife. time. But can you, see, can you see yourself in the mirror? Yes. Come yes. on here. <laughs> and what do you see? Mm-mm-mm. There's a song. It's, uh, it's a song that um I believe it used to be sung by um Kurt Franklin. Um, let me touch you and see if you are real. Mm-hmm. Let me touch you and see if you are real. You want to get in touch with yourself, get in the word of God. You want to know who you really are, get, get in, in the word, word of God. Get in this word. You got to press. press. If you want to make some changes in your life, press. get in the word of God and press. Yes. Yes. Press into his presence. I'm telling you, there's mm. freedom there. Yeah. There's deliverance there. Yes. Um, you know, your worship will go mm-hmm. to another level. Oh, my God. Um, you will begin to, to do things mm-hmm. um, that you thought. I mean, you know, you would just think it. Yes. <laughs> but you didn't know that you was equipped to actually, uh, act, you know, uh, to put that thing into practice yes. or go into that mm-hmm. mode with it. Mm-hmm. But that's what worship does. Mm-hmm. It does. Mm-hmm. He'll give you a song. He give you one word for you to just hold on mm, to. He give you a dance. <laughs> He'll give you all that. Mm, he'll sustain you mm. just through that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Right me. where you are. Tell he'll me. sustain you right in that. Mm. Y'all remember this old song, a uh, hymn? Sometimes we got to go back. We got to go back. We got to go back. I'm mm. back, back on just, let me just give you a little bit of this little old hymn. Now, I ain't a singer, but I love the worship. Come on. <laughs> love the worship. But on the way up here, Lady Cook and Lady Howard, you know, God gave me a song. Mm. Mm. And he when we was talking about song. this worship and we was talking about this warfare and we we're talking about pressing and we we're talking about moving forward, yes. then God says, believe because he lives. Yes. Because he lives. Oh. Oh it's God. just because he lives. Mm. That's why we can face tomorrow. Yes. Because he lives. Mm. Ain't God good? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, my God. Who? because he lives, y'all. That's all we need to know. Mm-hmm. I can face tomorrow. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm remembering that the words are coming back to me a yes. little bit. It's, it's God sent his son, and mm. they called him Jesus. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. You better sing it. Because he lives. Yes. Yes. All fear is gone. Y'all think back. Because I know. Who holds our future? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, life know? is worth. Yes, it's worth the living, living just because he lives. Mm-hmm. Y'all, he lives. He lives. Just because he lives. Yes. Sometimes we got to hold on mm-hmm. to those old songs, mm-hmm. those old hymns. Mm-hmm. And we got to remember where we came from. Mm-hmm. And what he brought us to, what and he how he gonna continue to, to take us, yes. even in our pressing, yes. even in our storms, y'all, even in our worship, even in our dancing and our praising. Mm. He said, "Hold beautiful. on, 
because mm. he lives, we can face tomorrow. Don't get distracted. But if you do, don't stay there long. Mm -hmm. Don't stay there long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he won't let you if you are worshiping praise. And if you mm -hmm. trust him, mm -hmm. God said, trust me. Trust me. Mm. That's trust awesome. Me. That's awesome. God, I thank you. Because you're equipped <laughs> for this. Yes. He reminds mm -hmm. us of that. That you're equipped for this. Because he lives. Because he lives. <laughs> yes, God. Oh, my gosh. Talking because about, he lives. Yes. Talking about being equipped for being it. Being equipped. Talking about knowing and locating, um, you know, your enemy mm. and knowing where he is, where you are, but also my learning God. of your access to, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. of the, the power and authority that God has given you to say that you have unlimited access to the throne of God. Yeah. That song's still brewing. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, but um, you know, you have an unlimited, um, you know, access into the to the throne of God, and so um, uh, that's that's just good right there. Uh, next week, y'all, guess what? We just gonna have part two Ooh, of my worship, God, my God, my God, and warfare, and we're gonna lean in with, um, with Reverend Ida Cherry. On yes. next, um, not next my week. Lord. I'm sorry. Excuse me. On the first week um, in October, um, we will um, we will have um, Reverend Ida Cherry in with us, and we'll be doing the worship and the warfare part two. Next week, uh, we will um, be in Columbia doing the rescheduling of the Destiny Walkers yes. Empowerment Forum. So come out, ladies. Come out if you're, um, you know, in the area. We um, meet the second. We normally meet the second Tuesday of every month. But um, again, because we were preparing or in preparation mode um, for um, the storm um, that some encountered uh, this past week, and remember that we're um, always praying for you and um, with you and those who were in, uh, affected by the storm. Um, but we are going to, um, we had to reschedule. So we're rescheduling it for um, next Tuesday, the 25th. Um, we want you to join us. Um, come and join the Destiny Walker Network. Come be empowered and um, worship and, um, you know, fellowship, be inspired with, with women. I like to say we are women that empower women, mm -hmm. but we also are women of God who walk in our purpose on purpose. Um, I say, you know, I say that we are intentional about the decisions and we're intentional about um, where we want our lives yes. to go. Um, you know, what we're, you know, what we're doing is we're wanting to um, help one another. We do mm -hmm. want to be our sister's keeper. Yes, yes. We do want to have an accountability partner. Oh, we do want to pray with you um, and love on you. We don't have to be in a, a competitive mm -hmm. mode all the time. This world is too big for all of that. Yes. You know, God don't create anything small. Exactly. Like, so that's why he gave us the different gifts and yes. talents and abilities yes. for yes. us to be able to reach. I'm reach not going to be able to reach all the different ladies or the women that Lady Sylvia may be able to reach in her mm -hmm. gifting or Lady Howard may be able to reach in her gifting. But if we all come together, do you see how much unity that's bringing into one place yes. when we all come together under one roof and we have the same, you know, we're on the same accord with the same mission in mind. Mm. That's what we do. That's what we're about. And so, um, you know, I, I just thank God um, for, again for Power and Praise Radio for Brother Nate um, Stoney. And he, he's in here with us every week worshiping and praying with us and getting us ready and smiling. And we have a good time in here. And so um, we look forward to, um, to being back with you on the first week in um, October where we'll do part two of Worship and warfare. Mm. So until then, much love, much prayer, and much grace. We love you. <laughs>